At this point, you should have two layers. You should have guidelines and line art, and you should have a perfect four quadrant cutout guidelines. We're going to be using our line tool, so I'm going to hold down on the line and pull this little sub panel out. I want my line segment tool to be active, and we're going to start and we're going to draw kind of a factory, all right, using just lines. So we're going to have a slope building, some smokestacks, some windows, stuff like that. So I want a roof with a series of three kind of sloping roofs. So I'm going to come from the intersect here in the middle, right? Right in the middle, smart guides are on, intersect. And I'm going to hold shift so I can do this at a perfect 40 degree angle. And I'm going to drag out and I want a two inch roof right so I can drag out like that I also want to make sure that I have no fill but my stroke my stroke is black all right and I want to be able to see that line better so I'm gonna make my stroke a little bit thicker like five points and then with the selection tool I can click off and I have that two inch line at a 45 degree angle remember you can also I'm just gonna delete it for a minute to show you the other way I can have the line segment tool and I can click right here if I want to be really precise make sure it says two inches 45 degree angle click OK and we'll make it exactly that I want to draw a another one so I want to command click right so I have the line tool if I command hit the command key it gets me the black arrow it gets me the last tool used last tool I use before the line tool is the selection tool so without having to switch tools I'm just gonna temporarily switch to the command tool command and I'm gonna click off anywhere not touching the line that deactivates the line you can also hit escape I do command click that's what I got in the habit of doing I want to draw a new line going from here to here all right so right at that anchor and then I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna drag down until I hit that guide all right so I want to be right on that guideline like that and I'm gonna let go it's gonna give us a little stack kind of a sloped kind of roof I'm going to hit command to get that black arrow and I'm gonna click and drag over these two lines just a part of them just so they're both highlighted and you notice that that has selected both of those lines okay I want to hit the V key to get the black arrow or the selection tool and I want to make two copies of this so I'm gonna click with the black arrow active both of them selected we can see the bounty box and I'm going to click and I'm going to start dragging. While I'm dragging, I'm going to pause for a second, hold the shift key. This is going to make sure that it doesn't move up or down. And I want to move it right to where I see intersect. But I'm not letting go of anything yet because that would move it. We're making a copy. So with another finger, we hold option and look at the cursor really quick. It changes from black to a black and white. And I'm going to let go of the mouse before the keyboard and that drags over and creates a copy of those two lines I want to do one more I could do that again or as I'm starting to learn illustrator there's another way there's duplicate what duplicate does is it does the exact same move you just did which is copy these things move them over perfectly duplicate starts with a D so our shortcut for that would be command duplicate and that now gives us kind of three stacked kind of like uh, you'll see when it comes together like part of a roof okay from here we want to continue the sides of this building down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my line tool 
and right at this intersect right there I'm going to oops I messed up on that it's still selected so command click to click off so no paths are selected now we take our line tool and right over that anchor we're going to hold shift drag down and let's go for let's see 3.75 inches okay 3.75 inches I'm gonna take my white arrow which is the A tool for direct select and I'm going to click on the bottom of this line this anchor point right here while I'm holding shift I'm going to drag down alright so I'm going to drag down I'm going to hold shift after I start dragging and since I have smart guides turned on I'm going to drag until I see a little square like that right it lines me up exactly see that little purple line to the left as it it has aligned itself exactly to the other anchor point I'm gonna let go so now we kind of have a side of a building or it kind of could look like uh, maybe like Bart's hair or something like that if you know the Simpsons anyhow we now have the start of a building I want to create two smokestacks over here so take my line tool again and right next to this let's see somewhere up here maybe something like that you don't have to be exact but I'm gonna start right at the bottom here and you can see with smart objects on it kinda of gets me lined up as soon as I hit the right spot right the right level it's a little tricky boom and then I'm gonna click and drag Hold shift, get a smoke stack. Let's say we make this six and a half. Or somewhere thereabouts. You don't have to be exact. Just get it close. Command click off. Drag over. We'll make our smoke stack one inch wide. Command click off. New line. Hold the shift key all the way down using our smart guides let go take our selection tool which is V marquee select all three paths right one two and three and then we're going to option drag that over while holding the shift key so we can make a copy I'm gonna go I don't know 1.15 get it close close enough is fine let go of the mouse before the keyboard and now you have two smokestacks and this building I think it's too far apart so I'm going to with the selection tool the black arrow highlight all of those and using the shift key and the arrow key move it over twice alright get it closer to our other part of our building right now we have a series of paths, a series of lines. We can't fill these in because they're not connected. You see these? And let me zoom in. I'm going to take the zoom tool right here. Right? That's the magnifying glass. I'm going to click and drag. Just kind of whoop, went a little too far, but it'll work. You don't have to do that. I just want to show you this right here. See, that's a path. That's a path. They're not connected. That means technically, even though we can't see it, there's like a gap. They're not connected. If you were to pour milk into this container, there'd be holes in the good, in the corners. The milk would come out, right? Milk is like fill. So we need to close the corners. We need to close the gaps. We need to join these paths. So I'm going to hit Command-0 to zoom back out. With my selection tool, I'm going to highlight, right? Highlight something like that and I want to connect those paths. So anything we've drawn is called an object. So if you were to look in the menu, it'd be under object. And we know that lines are paths and there's this option to join, right? Object path join or command J. So what that has done, and let me zoom in just so you can see, you'll notice that since we highlighted these two, 
that that is now a corner. There's not that little gap. And if I were to select it with the black arrow, or actually here, let's do the white arrow, you can see that the line is now connected. So let's go ahead and do that for the rest. Command J. Command J. Command J. And then I'm going to Command 0 to zoom out. If we were to pour milk in, it'd fall out of the bottom. We don't want that. We can draw a line, or since those are lined up perfectly, we can let Illustrator do its magic. I want to highlight these two paths. I don't want to highlight that third one. It's going to mess us up. I just want to highlight these two. All right? I'm clicking and dragging over them so they're both selected. Command J puts a line in for us. Nice and easy here. Command J connects our path. Lastly, we want to reverse the fill and the stroke. So right now, we have a black stroke and a no fill. That's what the red line means, no fill. So we want no stroke and a black fill. Easiest way to do that is over here on the left on the toolbar, there's this little arrow that says swap fill and stroke. Or if you look at the shortcut key, it says shift X. So I swap it. Now we have the black fill and no stroke. If I were to click on this object, I can do shift X, which is swap. And now we have a black fill, no stroke, and two smokestacks.